We're really looking forward to hosting the first round of the Yorkshire Classic. I think it'll provide a great opportunity for the mid-range handicap golfers to come and experience a championship golf course like Fulford and experience what the pros have experienced over the years. Fulford's a good test of golf for anybody of any standard. It's a fair course, what you see is what you get, there's no hidden shots. It's quite a tight course, it's tree-lined, there's a lot of uh, heather on the, on the back nine and, and quite a heathland aspect to the course. We've done a lot of bunker restoration over the last few years to improve the bunker quality and it's got good fine turf and, and so the quality of the turf on the greens and fairways will be uh, enjoyed by everyone who plays. I think as a test of golf for, for, for the average player they, they will definitely enjoy it. It's fair, the greens are huge, so there's no problems getting on the greens. The greens are true and run out well, uh, and, and people always tend to read too much into the greens. They're actually relatively flat. I think with the, with the carries, it, it's always hotly debated. You know, we, have, we have lots of carries. The carries really aren't that long, but they're more it, intimidating than, than long. You stand on some of the tees and you see 100 yards of heather or 100 yards of gorse or long rough, and it is quite intimidating. That makes it a bit more of a challenge for your high handicapper. Uh, for, the, for, the, for the low handicapper, it still remains a challenge uh, because it gets quite hard, fast and bouncy and if you don't quite hit it really straight, the ball runs off and it runs into this, this heather that we all love you end up losing balls and taking a high number. I always look forward to hosting sort of major events and that again, this you look at this clubhouse and the way the first tee sets up, it's almost like a little amphitheatre. Quite nervy on the first tee because there's a lot, a lot of people around but it just sets up so well and I really enjoy Hosting, we're hosting events really. I think day two, well, traditionally it's moving day isn't it, so the guys that have played well on, on day one at Fulford will come here wanting to consolidate their position and move, and move forwards and they'll find a, a pretty stern test and if they're playing well then they'll be rewarded, if they don't play so well then they'll be penalised I would have thought. The course is over 100 years old now, we've hosted in excess of probably 50 uh, amateur and professional events over the years starting with uh, probably most famous for the Ryder Cup in 29. Um, and more recently uh, the Brabazon in 2009. It's tough but fair, um, we've also got tees that can make it as, as hard as you like or as easy, not as easy as you like, but, uh, but make it accessible to, to everyday golfers as well as proving still a good challenge to those top pros. We have spent an awful lot of money actually in the last few years in trying to, to take ourselves back to where we were first designed by Alistair McKenzie back in 1909. Mainly aimed at obviously making sure we keep the ethos of the course as it always has been and, and how it should be and to keep ourselves maintained as one of the best courses in the area. Always excited to hold, hold top events, obviously a three day event that involves courses such as Fulford or Woodley finishing here is, is a great event and uh, looking forward to hosting it.